Hello and welcome. I'm Nafe42 and this is the 3D, um, 3D design tutorial episode 10. I think. It must be episode 10 or something like that. So, first we want to get rid of this guy, Steve. Steve. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Uh, we go on here. We want to use parallel projection because it's the easiest one to draw this kind of stuff in. Um, and we just want to move it up a little bit. And then we'll go to here. We'll draw a little box here and we want to make this box uh, two by two so this is in meters by the way this is two by two meters uh, it doesn't matter the actual size of it because uh, obviously from the last tutorial we can actually shrink stuff down so we can use stuff uh, we can create stuff at any size and then shrink it down to be able to fit onto our 3d printer um, as seen previously um, so we want to use the push and pull tool now you should be fairly you should be fairly decent with this stuff now uh, 3.5, we're gonna make it like that. Um, just following the, uh, the tutorial from the, from the book, really. Uh, that's what this one is. Uh, and we're going to make a, a trophy, actually. We're gonna make a trophy, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it should be quite good, uh, actual skills to learn. So, uh, we're gonna learn this in the arc tool and, and some other things as well. Um, uh, and, uh, and actually just getting, down to it, which is pretty cool. So we want to get the tape measure out, we want to make a line. So if we choose the bottom face, we go up. We just want to make that, um, oh, no, wait, that's my bad. Don't do that yet. We click on, uh, click select tool. Triple click the, uh, one of the faces, and that selects everything on that, on that block. We go on to edit, and then make group. Now that makes this all one group, so if things, I'll put next to it, they're not going to stick to it. Um, I don't know if you saw previously on a couple of episodes we had issues where you build like another block next to it and then you try and move that block and it's all merged together and it kind of moves a lot of the faces in weird ways, which is not, not what we're after. Um, this will fix that. It, so you can actually build another block next to it, move it through this one, move it inside this one, move it back outside and it won't be stuck to it, which is good and useful, very useful. Um, Okay, so we want to adjust this uh, view so we can see it a bit better. Um, we'll just do this as well. Um, so what we need to do is create a line. So we go to the bottom, go up, and we want to make this at a uh, three meter height. So type three, uh, that puts that at three meter height. And then we want to make a couple of other ones as well. So we go up, we'll do 0.3. Uh, we'll do another one for 0.6. And then we'll do another one for 1.75 and that's there okay so that's good um now we want to do it from the other sides so we go in and we do 1.6 and then we do another one for um for 0 0.7 oh, 0 0.7 and also another one for 1.25 now obviously I mean you can change these around, you don't have to do it exactly the same way that I am. Um but this is just the 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 way that I'm doing it. So I mean you could do it anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh we want to go to camera standard views front. Uh we have put this in parallel projection, I can't remember if I said that already. Um but yeah, you can see just the front view here, which is a bit clearer than uh doing a different view. Uh the only thing that I noticed is that sometimes the lines don't draw properly. In this thing, I mean, you can still snap to the lines, which is good, which is what we're after. Uh, but it's not perfect. Um, I don't know, that might just be my computer. It might be because the screen resolution or something like that. I don't know. But it does that, so uh, we're gonna have to count with that. So what we're gonna use now is we want to use the two point arc, which is here. So if you click down here, two point arc, we can just click here at the intersection and then down here at this intersection and then we can pull it out pull it out or in and this makes a line this makes a cool line so we just want to click it anywhere we click it anywhere then we do it at point 10 so just point 0.1 there we go uh, actually point 0.10 does that make any difference no okay that's fine whatever um so yeah that actually that's pretty good. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to select this endpoint here, and we we'll go down to this endpoint here. Now, obviously, we can choose we want it to be out here or in here. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, and we're going to do this one 
by 0.10 again. So 0.1 even, um, which will be like that. So it's going to be a nice little curve here. And this is kind of like the edge of a glass kind of thing. You can make something similar to that in here, um, which is cool. Um, so yeah, what we want to do now is we want to get the pencil tool and we're just going to finish this off. Uh, we should go over here. Is there a line over here? Can zoom in or zoom differently. Yeah. Okay. So we want to do it to this intersection here. That's the wrong button. Uh, we want to go fit all of it in. So we go, oh, that's a bit better. Strangely enough, with a funny angle, it, it seems to work a bit better. Now we have this. This is a uh, single shape and it's a closed shape as well. So it's all uh, all connected on all the sides. So now what we need to do is uh, remove all the guides. So we'll just do this. Can we do that? No. Uh, well, okay, whatever. We'll just do it. Right click erase. Right click erase. Right click erase. Oh, oh you can use the erase tool. I forgot about that. Let me just click on the erase tool with it. Uh, yeah, so that's that done. Okay, so you can also just press edit and then delete guides. And that's a quick way of just deleting all of the guides, <laughs> which I wish I knew a couple of minutes ago. Okay, what we need to do now is just delete the guide block as well. So if you just click the delete button, we click this or drag it, drag it on that. Uh, we are left with a shape here, a 2D shape, which is cool. It looks good. It looks cool. Um, okay. So what we want to do is we want to just create a offset. So if we can click on this bit here, we can hold shift. We can select both sides of that. And then we're going to select the base as well. So if we select all three of them, click the offset tool and click anywhere. And then we can drag it out as big or little as we want. And this will be like the edge of the cup kind of thing. Can you see where we're going now? Can you see where we're going now? So yeah, we're just going to bring that out and we'll type 0.1. So yeah, that's fine. That's point. That's 10 centimeter difference there. That is actually, that little bit there is the size of our entire print platform, <laughs> which is kind of crazy, isn't it? But it's not connected at the top or the bottom. So I don't know if we could just pencil that in. Can we? Probably can. Yeah, we can. There we go. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to delete everything else. So we just want to do this like that. There we go. So you drag the delete button over the things you want to delete and they're gone. So we're left with just the edge of the cup. How cool is that? So this is the basic shape of the trophy. Um, we're going to save this now and we'll come back to this in the next one uh, where we will actually turn this with uh, the follow me tool, which we haven't actually covered anything about yet, uh, and turn it into a, a full cup, which is, which would be really cool. Um, so yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at no for two. And thanks for watching. Uh, and also, if you want to see any tutorials on anything else, um, within this or outside of this, uh, give me a message on Twitter, and I will definitely consider doing something like some other stuff. Because I know this is quite a, uh, a fairly popular series compared to some of my series, and it's, it's always sort of fun to, to create these videos. Thanks for watching.